Welcome to New Realities. I'm Alan Steinfeld. I've just been talking to Sergio Magana about the ancient Nagual Toltec knowledge and how we're here to work with these, these great tradition that is a legacy for all of humanity. So when did it change into this next sun? When was that it, shift? It's a little bit different uh, than the Mayan count. Yeah, tell me. For us, uh, the eclipses are like the... Uh, doorways. The, uh, yeah, yeah, the doorways, because if you see... Then the moon is like the Nawal, the sun is like the Tonal, and when they're aligned, it's like, like the solar system is having a lucid dream, so you can uh, change the reality. So for us, the, the, the change is not like one day is the fifth sun and the sixth sun is the next one. Uh -huh. It's like in nature, that it it's can be the night. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's at, at 29 per periods of transition. So, so for are we still in this transition? Yeah, for us it started, um, the fifth sun began entering, the sixth sun began entering in the kingdom of the fifth, uh, the, um, in, an, in a full eclipse of, uh, sun eclipse that happened in Mexico in July of, of 1991. Ah. Then uh, they get to the same like power in 2012. They did. So 2012 yeah. was a uh, important, important time. Yeah, this yeah. December 21st. Yeah, the, 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 they went to the same power, and now uh, slowly the fifth sun is going out uh -huh. to allow the sixth sun to rule by himself, and it, this transition will finish in other eclipses that will happen in 2021. Ah, uh, so the 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 real beginning then of this new time. Um, it's happening now, but... It's but it's now, uh, because also the, th the sixth sun now has more power than the fifth for mm -hmm. us. And the sixth sun is more of a time of spirituality. Not exactly no? a spirituality. For us, everything is based in Tonal Nawal, uh -huh. like I told you. So, uh, and the suns uh, alternate themselves. So there is one sun of light. Light means uh, Tonal. Mm -hmm. and one son of darkness, mm -hmm. that is means the Nawal. Mm -hmm. So the fifth son was a son of, of, of light, a uh -huh. son of, of the tonal. Uh -huh. And in the tonal, how is the perception? Everything is outside, so God is outside. The, 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 oh. the sons of light are very good to create religions. Medicine is outside, mm -hmm. uh, satisfaction is outside, all these things. And the Nawal sons are sons of darkness, when, like, you, when you close the eyes, so you must go to the inside. Oh. So that's why a lot of mm, the medicine formulas are falling down, uh -huh. the religions, the economics, because everything goes to the inside again. So it's an internal experience. So what will the culture look like then in the sixth sun? Uh, God goes again, again, uh, but it will be a long period of transition yeah. because but I'm talking about but thousands but what will of happen, years. You think? If you see, uh, we are very lucky because we have seen like the change, alive, yeah, and we can compare. If you, if you remember how life was 20 years ago, 30 years ago. People get, get really satisfaction in the religious answers that were outside, in having just a family, yes. success. Yes, yes. And now people that have all these things is not anymore satisfied. They need to conquest themselves the inside. The economic formulas, the medicine, uh, the medicine is not so effective anymore. Mm -hmm. And everyone is looking for something different. Mm -hmm. So this is really an amazing time because we are in the time of the fifth sun into the sixth sun, we're seeing the and light. And we can compare. <laughs> That's, and mostly, and the suns last for, you say, 6,000 years? 6,600 uh, 6, so something. So the people then in the future won't understand where... How is a sun of light? Because they wouldn't have lived it. But there, but there is an evolution of a history uh, to this. So there's a lineage. So maybe there will be some See, some keepers. So, but it will be a completely different world, won't it? I think so. Uh, all these things about 2012 that the world was finishing were based in the, in the Nahuatl prophecy and Mayan prophecy that said, the fifth sun will finish with earthquakes. There will be a lot of suffering and everyone will die. Who, but, but it didn't happen. No, because no, it happened. But <laughs> you should know how to speak Nahuatl because a lot of Westerners went there, got that information, and then they translated to a modern, modern uh -huh. way of seeing. For us, death is change. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I it is said in the tradition that we have six deaths when we are alive. 
for example, conception is a death. It is a death because you stop being dead to become alive again. Uh -huh. Birth is, is other it? death because you stop uh -huh. being in the womb to to go out. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. poverty uh, or puberty is is other death because you stop being a child to become a young oh, puberty. man. Puberty. Yes, oh, sorry. <laughs> or uh, so all those um, things are death. So what it was meant is that this sun was going to finish with earthquakes. Earthquakes is also physically. Uh -huh. And also that all the structures of the of the other sun are shaking. I see. And if you see in the center of that you say of the Aztec calendar, there are like the four squares that yeah. are the suns, and there are like eagle claws claws mm -hmm. in the middle. Yes. That means that between one sun and the other, the destruction of the old order happens to give up uh, to give uh, space right. to the to the new order. Right. Right. So that that is what is happening. That's why everything is like kind of shaking and changing. So what is the date of this next eclipse in 2021? It's uh, I don't have the I don't remember now. So it's yeah, a, it's yeah. a major eclipse. Yeah, yeah. And, and so we're moving towards that because it's all happening. But it's now happening. Now the sixth sun is more important than the fifth. I see. I see. So let's talk about dreaming and the practices and 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 maybe even show some or talk about actually how to do a dreaming practice like you just gave a course in new york and you hopefully you'll be back to give more yeah so what's the like so what's the basic the whole idea of a dreaming practice to become lucid in the dream to be no that's not the practice that's not yeah, the okay idea. yeah no tell me no 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 yeah mm -hmm. Okay, it's not only become lucid because there are a lot of uh, like I told you I was in this in this conference about uh, in London mm. the, it was really nice in the Royal Geographical Society that they chose like that people that were representing different dreaming traditions in the world mm -hmm. uh, from psychiatrists to yoga of the dreams mm -hmm. and all those things mm -hmm. almost everyone said that you should become lucid feel and allow the dream happen for us, it's not like that. For the Nahuals. Yeah, it's not uh, like in Nahualism, you try to control the dream. Control. For example, yeah, we have like these codexes that uh, if you go down in the dream, if you are falling down, jumping in the water, whatever, going down in the stairs, you are going down to the underworlds. Mm -hmm. So when you are lucid there and you see that you are going down, you stop that because you know that the going to the underworlds would be to go to the worst part of your unconscious, ah. so that you will create that in your awake. So we stop that and we say no, no, not not down, up, or whatever. We are controlling the dream. You're controlling the dream. Yeah, by, by doing some of those practices. That, yeah, but, uh, and for example, we do something that is named planting dreams. Ah. Planting dreams are certain like breathing techniques, like, like the one that I show you with the, the Chuck Mole, that we do before going to sleep. And we plant four dreams in how we would like to appear in the dream. So when you are falling asleep, you are repeating like, I'm a warrior of the dreams. I will be uh, conscious while dreaming and I will find the dreams that I planted. So instead of just uh, entering in like in an unconscious dream, when you fall asleep, you are trying to find the dreams that you planted. So you imagine a dream you want to have. I want to dr have a dream of flying. Uh, and then, or, yeah, or, or but more specific, but it's tell not me how you plant a dream. For example, we have like in a, fir in a basic, ba basic level, we use animals like Nahuales. Like I said, if you want healing, you get the serpent. If you want love or to heal a depression or something like that, you use the hummingbird. Ah. If you want money, you uh, you use the uh, the crocodile. crocodile. If you want like a psychological or underworld pattern of your ancestors healing, you use the jaguar. Ah. That he goes to the underworlds. Uh, if you want something to die, not not someone, but if for example, if you have a tumor and you want that tumor to die, you use the black butterfly. Mm. So you are planting like uh, with different archetypes. The how many different types are there? There are many, but animals are. Uh, there is like the if you want a prophetic dream, you can use also the hummingbird and the and the deer. Is there a book of all these uh, archetypes? I took it from the oral tradition. I'm doing one. Are you now, doing a book yeah, now on yeah, these? I'm, uh, I'm of dreaming of dreaming arc these archetypes. I haven't read nothing like this uh, written. So you're the first to write this, and so it's not just dreaming about the archetypes; it's being the archetype in the dream. Being the archetype is you. 
Ah. When your Nawal represents the archetype, so it creates the, the tonal. I, uh, I, we have had many testimonies of people that, for example, is sick in the night, and they found the dreaming of their healing, and, and they wake up completely healed. Wow. So what's happened to you? What's for your me, I, I have never been sick, uh, like right. physically, but, but for example, I have done a lot of things. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, some uh, once uh, the we have a place that is in Chicago Mictlacayan mm -hmm. that it means the place of the strength in mm -hmm. the dream, where you go and you repair your nawal and four jaguars come and lick you and then then they repair the completely your nawal. Uh -huh. uh, for example, that is for recovering the strength and all those things and and then uh, also if you recover the strength you recover a lot of uh, you have like certain periods of rejuvenation so in that time i had like some gray hair uh -huh. and after having that dream they colored really? again really yeah what's yeah. that dream again <laughs> <laughs> you want to color your hair <laughs> no but you dream but tell me to me again because i chica because for us there are many different rooms of dreaming uh -huh. uh, in like in the map of the world of dreams. Mm -hmm. The common dreams happen in what we call the Mictlan, the place of the death. So when you dream about your past, people that you knew, uh, certain things that you do, that psychology would call projections, you are in the Mictlan, in the, in the, in the, in the, um, in the world of the death. Because mm -hmm. for us, our past is death. Uh -huh. So you are there. And almost all the people is always there because it's the first room. And it's only the first room. It's only the first room because oh. if you know that there are other, other rooms, uh -huh. you can begin ordering your nawal to go uh, to the other rooms. How many other rooms are there? Many. Because, I because it's interesting. Them. I remember, you know, I have psychological dreams, but then I dream of different people. There was a woman who I knew very well who died. She came to the dream. That would be in the in the in the Miklan because you in the Miklan you can go to your past or th mm. these things or you can go to the land and of the ancestors and people that has passed away can meet you there. And she told me something. She was with a little child. I couldn't see the, but it was, but yeah, it felt like a different type of dream. So there uh, you are in different rooms. So how many different rooms are there? I don't know, but uh, it's the mag I haven't counted. No, but, but it's the magto when manachkan. That means the plant, the place where you plant dreams. There is the cochitzinko. Cochitzinko means uh, there are uh, the um, coches sleeping, but it's a place where there are no dreams. That you only enter like in a darkness, and there are no dreams. Mm. And it is, it's like a paradox. But becoming becoming a master of dreams is not have is is when you are to able not have to not to not have a dream. Oh. Then there is other the Chicago Mictlayan where you repair your Nawal. Like I told you, there is other that is the Tlatlauj Kitemictli that is the, the place of the red dreams. The red dreams. Uh, when you enter in a place where uh, all the dreams happen like in red and yeah. you begin seeing red and red, that takes you because um, when you are in the womb, uh -huh. all the light that entered through the skin of your mother was red. Because of the blood, yeah. Yeah, and, and the blood also. Yeah. and you were dreaming of yourself. So if you're able to enter in a place where all the dreams are red, you're able to regenerate your body. Wow, and then have the jaguars lick you. And that's <laughs> other place, that's other place. So but you enter into that red field and then you regenerate, interesting. It's amazing, the and power what of else? dreaming. This is fast. I know I've never heard this, but it ma it somehow it makes sense to me that what you're saying. What else? Or the there is other, like the, the place where the Nahual and the Tonal uh, separate, mm -hmm. and th that, that the Nahual can see the Tonal sleeping. Other ah. things like it is like I uh, experience out of the, out out of body. Out of the body. Uh -huh. But that's for us, is other place of dreaming. Uh, it's another house of dreaming. I, is this in your new book? These yeah, all these things will come. And in this the is called, the new book is called? Will be called uh, The Nahualism, The Power of Dreaming. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. So to get aware or to be, you know, most people go to sleep, they don't remember anything, and boom, you know, they wasted all that um, information that the universe is giving them. In their yeah. So how can we use this then, these different, ha what to, how can we practice a simple technique? Okay, yeah, like I told you, but, but to, to try to be a dreamer, it starts not dreaming. It's like in the mirror to force your perception to see you okay, there. That's that would be the only the way, way to that, start. That, tonal, that the tonal cannot sleep and just allow the Nawal to see and you lose consciousness. You must force yourself to appear in the dream so mo someone must be watching. 
so your tonal must be watching. Then we do all these practices like, but for example, to do the like the the chuck mold, yeah. you must be trained in the obsidian mirror before, because you must be able to change your your face in the mirror. Ah, uh, you change your face, so you're awake, of course. And of course, yeah. And, and, and your your nagual is pushing your tonal to shift its awareness. Yeah, yeah, that's because that's if you begin breathing and then you are able to change your image in the mirror. You are in a half state of perception. You are like uh, what we call ensoñación, dreaming while awake. Ah. So, so when you see that, and then you fall, uh, you go out from your body to the dreaming state in that in that shape. You put what, uh, for example, the the correct language of, of elements in the, for example, for us, horizontal or flat waters are like emotional problems but if you see rain in the dreams it's good so for example we plant for example if you want the purification of a uh, sickness you will put your uh, snake with rain and that's a purification yeah or oh. or uh, we have a, a specific language of dreaming of the four elements oh the four elements so if you dream of earth earth for example for us the dream of the earth are, are us because we are like earth. Uh, yeah, the of the spirit of Tonans in the Mother Earth, mm -hmm. we are the humans are are her favorite uh, children. Mm -hmm. So uh, every time that we are f um, dreaming about violence that we fight and all those things, we cancel those dreams because that's not fighting it really with the person. It will be fighting with the spirit of the earth. Uh -huh. For example, every time that we see flat waters in the in the in the dream, we cancel that. Every time that we see clouds mm -hmm. and all those things, that would be against the spirit of the wind because the wind, his dream is to come and to take everything clean. Ah. So it's a very specific way of speaking like that in the dreaming language. So in the workshops you teach, the first practice is to do the mirror practice. Uh, there are many different, because I teach a lot of things. What else do you teach? Uh, for example, what I taught here uh, Sunday, it was the the tolly, really what what the Toltec means. So to adjust to the measure of the cosmos through your breathings, so that you can have a healing. Mm -hmm. So but that's that's. Tell more me about that. How do you do that? Uh, for example, for us the thirteen, like I told you, is the um, the number of the sun. Mm -hmm. That because the rotation of the sun is in, in twenty six yeah. days. Eight is the number of of Venus and the moon. It is based in the mathematic because if you see in the Aztec calendar, there are like the symbol of five balls all over, like a five of uh, the ones that you rolled. Uh, mm -hmm. And then uh, that is the mathematic of Venus and the moon because e each cycle of Venus is f 590 days. So if you add five, it, that is 2,950 days. And if you split that in our year, that, is, uh, that gives you the number eight. That's why, for the tradition, we are supposed to sleep eight hours, and uh, we have eight dreams each night. We have eight dreams each night. Yeah, so for us, how we do this technique is that you breathe in in 13, uh, your healing, your change with the sun, and you breathe out in eight all the destructive forces of your cave. And so of you your count Nawal. to 13, and you breathe in, counting to 13, and you breathe out, counting to eight. Eight, yeah. Yes. And then we do that 13 times, and you have one movement. One type of, what kind of movement? Uh, for us, uh, like I told you, everything is based in, in four movement, but uh -huh. that would be one movement from one to 13, that is the measure of the sun, of change. Uh -huh. So, and then, uh, like I said, in the Toltec tradition, an original one, everything is mathematics. So you know that first is named Se, or s that comes from Senteotl. So in the first movement, you put like the intention that uh, what needs to be healed and what needs to be transformed, then you do other movement. When you say movement, you actually mean physical uh, movement? No, movement uh, would be the movement of the energy. But that would be the movement are a group of 13 breathings. Uh. Then you do a next movement that would be other 13 breathings. Uh. And uh, that would be take you to two. Two is comes from Ome, that is two in Nahuatl, that is Omitl, bones. So in the second movement, we ask the energy of the universe to come down like a serpent because the energy moves like that, mm -hmm. cleansing from our, our, bo our bones the history of our ancestors, the repetitive patterns. Wow. 
Then we do a third movement that J is three in Nahuatl that comes from justly the blood. So in that in that uh, in that movement we ask the energy of the earth to come and enter through our feet to uh, so uh, that our blood becomes a serpent, the serpent of healing. Ah. And then you begin going with the uh, with the serpent of healing to all the organs and to to digest. That's reawakening the power of the blood. Uh -huh. the healing from the inside that would wow. be very important in the in the um, mm -hmm. in the sixth zone and then we do a last movement that will take you to to 52 52 for us is the sacred uh, number because of the pleiades and orion the pleiades and orion that's very important they repeat the same position every 52 years oh. and that's when in mexico it's, it's, it takes part the ceremony of the new fire and the fire rules the dream. So when you are in 52, you you plant a dream. Ah. So after these 52 breaths, you plant a dream. So we breathe in one breath, count to 13, breathe out, in count eight. to eight. Uh, at, at least to have results, you should do this 52 days in a row to oh. adjust you to the toll. If you see everything is in measures of the cosmos. So we plan our exercise in numbers. In I do this 52 days in a row, and each time at the end of yeah. the fourth, I plant a dream. I plant a dream. The that same dream or a different dream? Uh, if you want this to, uh, to happen, the same dream. The same until dream. Until it happens. OK. But That's when we good. know all these things, we, we, we know we have many codexes, uh, different dreams. But for, is for start, it's a very good one. That that's thank you so much for sharing that. That's simple and powerful, and um, combines intention and the body and our connection to the universe. Yeah, the tolling, the the measure. So, what did the Toltecs and Nagos feel the whole purpose of this life in this dream reality is for? Uh, to learn to die. The dreaming practice is because dreaming is dying. So the main purpose is to learn how to die. We but why were we ever born? Because we were experiencing. Because there are three, three, uh, three ways how you can die. From the liver, you will ha we be in reincarnation. And you are giving all the circle of the glyphs of the calendar. Uh, if you are born, for example, I am now a lizard. Uh -huh. And I don't flower like it's like enlightenment for the ancient tradition. I will be born the next life in serpent that is the next one. Mm -hmm. And like that. How do you know you're a lizard? Because uh, in, the, in the measures of the calendar. It's, it's similar to the Mayan. So uh -huh. in the glyph that you are, the, this life, if you don't flower, you must le leave the next glyph and then the next glyph. And like that, until you break the circle. You can break it uh, exiting while dying f from the chest, and you go the to heart. the heart. Uh, yeah, the chest. Uh, chest. Yeah, it could be like like that. And then that. you go where? To the sun, and to you can melt into the light. Or if you exit through the crown, you would, uh, you can uh, choose to to be independent for all your life. Independent. I independent to be like an awal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, in the Castaneda tradition, he talks about Don Juan saying you, he burned from a fire from within, that he didn't die, that the body became light, fire, essence. We, I don't have that in the... In That's not in your no, tradition. No, no, no. That this is for learning how to die, because okay. the Mictli in Nahuatl is dream, and is the one that died. So for us, like dreaming is like a death. Mm. Dreaming. So... How did you know you were a lizard in this life? How did you know that was because your sign? Because we have the table, uh, the papers that uh, that compare these our dates with the Aztec uh, dates, and then mm. you get astrologically. Yeah, you're astrologically, saying? like li uh, it's uh. named Tonalamatl. That is your uh, study of who you are awake and who you are sleeping. It's very interesting because it's like the kind of on only astrology that gi gives you who you are in the Tonal and who you are in the Nahual. Oh, you have two different charts. No, it's the same one, but uh, but it but it gives oh, you who you are, how your Nawal behaves, and how your Tonal behaves, your challenges and your advantages. Uh -huh. So most astrology just gives you how your Tonal, yeah, your your, your pers day daytime personality, and there's yeah. a whole other side. Oh, that's interesting. Very, this this what we just talked about today and tasted is really the science of these ancient traditions. They understood consciousness, they understood their relationship to the heaven, they understood and the cosmos, yeah. and how to work with their body and how to work with their mind. It's, it's a complete system. It's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. How can people get in touch with you? 
uh, my website it's uh, sergiomagana.com or my Facebook uh, Sergio Magana Ocelocoyotl that is my Nahuatl name. How do you spell that? O uh, Sergio, Sergio Sergio Magana Magana I'll spell it out yeah. and then Ocelocoyotl that's my Facebook Ocelocoyotl Ocelocoyotl that means Coyote Jaguar in Nahuatl. Coto Jaguar? Yeah. That is Coto a snake? Co coyote. 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 Coyote Jaguar. Jaguar, yeah. That's coyote my... Coyote Jaguar. Yeah, that's my... And someone gave you that name, right? Yeah, uh, you cannot name however you want. From from the calendar, you get eight influences. And then you choose two to get to get a name. Wow. And then I, s I had my sewing of name by Charlotte, my mm -hmm. teacher. It's so amazing, this... Um, knowledge that you are reviving because I think it can help people integrate in this new time of the sixth sun. Yeah, yeah. You, I hope a lot of people look uh, in, in the ancient wisdom because a lot of answers are there. Yeah, beautiful. This is really, a you feel the change, don't you? When in, in, your in your sleep or your... Yeah, in my sleep and in my awake and everywhere. What do you <laughs> notice? Because you are completely different. You are less destructive. You are... The whole planet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no. Now, in yeah. the whole planet, I see. If you, if you train yourself, you will get the advantages. But now I think that everything is accelerated. Mm. Like, like the tradition says, in these nine years, everyone will face or their personal cataclysms or their change. Mm. Because everything is, is, is speeding mm. up yeah, yeah, to yeah. meet the sixth sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Let's do some more shows. Of course. And we'll do of some course radio will. too and we'll this is very interesting. I'm just wanna know everything you know. <laughs> no, I do because it's I don't know, I'm just drawn to it. I think it's it feels true. Oh thank you. Yes. It's uh, true. I uh, I it it's my life. No, it works. <laughs> and what you may what you talk about the complexity of dreams is so important to us to understand because we just say it's dream, but what you're saying is it's it's a whole cosmology of the dreaming universe. Yeah, it's like like be having a map for for the awakened, for the yeah, sleeping. It's a, a map. guide. It's a map, and the the teachings of these great te masters that came before are here to serve all humanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just the Toltecs. No, no, Toltec for uh, everybody. Like like Hugo, me, my teacher says. To to accept that you are a mexica is not a part. No, it's not a place. Is that you accept the importance of the moon and the dreaming in your life? Mexica means what? The place of the navel of the moon. But he says, if you become a mexica, it's not that you are Mexican. If that you are for an area, it it was it has a bigger meaning. Mm -hmm. Is that do you accept the effect of the moon and the, ex uh, the the effect of the dreams of your life, and that you are doing something with that? Ah. So it's not for the me Mexicans. It's for the world. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you to you, Alan. This is Alan Steinfeld for New Realities. I, that was a very inspiring, uplifting talk with Sergio Mas Magaña. Magaña. Sergio. <laughs> I've just been talking to Sergio Magaña about the ancient Nahuatl Toltec knowledge and how we're here to work with these, these great tradition that is a legacy for all of humanity. So if you want to um, have more about that, I'll let you know when Sergio comes back to New York or around the country. You can reach me at newrealities.com. You can email me at a, the letter A, at newrealities.com. Thanks for watching tonight.